science 誒後面其實有好多誒數學嘅原理啦 ，mathematics 嘅 proof 啦，呢啲 mathematics 嘅 combine。咁而且我哋做科學嘅時候，好多時我哋有個 hypothesis， 之後我哋會做 experiment， 之後會論證到一個 result。咁喺 science 裏面，譬如好多誒、呃、cycle 好似水咁樣由冰。遇到熱咁會變水，水即係會變水蒸氣。咁喺佛學裏面亦都有輪迴，咁都好似一個 cycle 咁，亦都有好似 karma 業嘅一個 cycle 咁。咁點樣用數學或者用 science 嚟論證，去證明佢究竟係實實在在存在嘅咧 ？No, a、uh, scientific proof, a、uh, mathematical deduction, etc. And you know, establish upon that. You start with a hypothesis. And then you, you know um, you you test it、um, many times, and then you arrive at the result. So the question is,、um, just like there are different cycles in in water, water can become ice and then steam and so on. And then also in Buddhism, we have cycles of you know karmic karmic cycles,、um, samsara, reincarnation, and all those. So you know she is asking, are there any mathematical or scientific proof? Of how these karmic cycles、um, do exist.、Mm. It's about Buddhism and science. Yes, yes. Over the course of、uh, past decades, I think there has been actually great Buddhist scholars, and then also you know, a group of great scientists have joined、uh, together to actually. See an experiment to find out what they can find. Does it fit at all?、But、I think it, those were very interesting、uh, times. I think I think this really spent some very interesting time together, and there were many interesting theories and conclusions about it. Yes, and so, so from my own understanding is that. Uh, not to be、uh, from the sense of I know it not, but uh, uh, actually whatever Buddha taught so far is quite amazing because、uh, during his time there were no modern technologies whatsoever, and yet、uh, he could、uh, in his teachings. As we、uh, look into nowadays, we can see that、um, actually、uh, the theories about quantum physics or all those deep, deep levels and subjects there、uh, are actually very much proven in the texts like in the Abhidharma Kosha and, and the, the other shorter version, the longer version, and so on. And、uh, you, you will be amazed just how you know. Uh, and level as deep as what we taught them. So、um, obviously nowadays the science method is also、um, becoming uh, very uh, appreciated and popular and studied more. And naturally, if you put it together, it will be like、uh, um, how to say. Long lost brothers and sisters. You know. So that's that's my feeling, yeah, because it really goes hand in hand.、Um, now, both have a, a bit of difficulty, I would say. Buddhism also have, but the same difficulty. Buddhism have the difficulty of proving, not、uh, not proving, but, but, but let's say making others understand that there is something called mind. Whereas the scientists, I think,、uh, it's very hard to to find out from their perspective. Yes. So when they join together, then they find something unique, and something unique is, is born. And as a result, they want to slowly begin to appreciate that it's all interdependent.、Yeah? Everything, science, law. A、uh, universe, constellations.、Um, what else is there? Planets, solar systems, 
eco ecology everything yeah and so in order to actually since we are all practitioners here and making sure as it, I think it was my during my yesterday's lecture to preserve Dharma that's that in order to, to preserve Dharma I think we need to understand all this yeah. or it can be in a, in a different way first we preserve the Dharma and then when we share um, when we utilize the Dharma from there then we can experiment with such you know options and I think it will be really helpful yeah to see um, this, to have something tangible but now philosophically and logically we want to explain oh rebirth is this come on and that yes it's not in tangible forms probably who knows with science they may be able to do it so if there's a good combination of it I think it will be wondrous yeah I don't know when that will happen but um, let's hope for the best yes but in, uh, in terms of the idea, the knowledge is already here within the Dharma. Well, how? It is exactly as I said before, the interdependent link, links, the original uh, interdependent links, I think. I really don't know how to put it in words in English, but directly it is known as Te Jing It means uh, Dependent to one another, and due to that, due to that cause, as such results come. Due to that condition, and again, such results come. So therefore, it's interdependent. It's causality, basically. Yeah. Uh 保護佛法